What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Nate Bargetzi. This is the first episode of the Nate Land podcast. I, uh, you know, I, I did a podcast a long time ago, uh, a very, very long time ago, right when podcasts were getting big, and then we stopped it. It was basically like if you like got a tip about Google. <laughs> And then you were like, ah, let's get out of it. Uh, I mean, it was like two th- or 2010 or something. I don't know. So, but now we're doing it again. Uh, COVID has uh, forced forced me into a podcast because I can't I can't do anything. So uh, we're doing it here. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. This is the first one. Uh, I'm excited to do a show. I don't know, you know, I don't know exactly what this show is going to end up being. Uh, it's just us hanging out, a couple comics. Let me introduce you to the comics that are in here. I got uh, Brian Bates, hey. who's on the road with me a lot, and uh, Aaron Weber has been on the road with me once, and that will be the only that will be the last time. He really blew it. Uh, but so we, I just figured, you know, we're here. We're all stuck in Nashville, uh, so let's do a podcast. You know, let's get it. Let's get it going. Yeah. So Brian, all right. So. We'll start with the beginning of grocery stores. A little fun fact here. The first self-service grocery store. This felt like doing a school, you know, when you let it go. All right, everybody. Get, uh, uh, Brian uh, Bring. <laughs> Brian Bates. Uh, and then you, and it sounded exactly. Yeah, you don't like the way I start stuff, I don't think. Uh, like your stand-up? <laughs> like jokes? <laughs> Well, that's this. I've, I've read like three times on the show, and twice you've called me out on the way I start it. So I don't think I'm good at starting, but no. you go, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, now I'm thinking about my jokes. I, yeah, I yeah, how do you start your joke? You said, hello, folks. <laughs> you say folks? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you say folks. Yeah. It, for every joke? No, when you come out. <laughs> When you come out, <laughs> hello, folks. <laughs> and you might say it when you leave. You don't think you say? Do you say folks? I don't think so. I think you do. Okay. Every joke. Every yeah. Every joke. <laughs> hey, that's his. That's his thing. That's why people are like it. That's his. And he sells T-shirts in the lobby that say, "Hey, hello, <laughs> folks." <laughs> and it's just a picture of him. That's his hello. Uh, image. Hello. <laughs> it's just seven hands hmm. that go like that. Hello, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's, he does his, and then he does his act. And then every joke I start with it again. Yeah. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Hello, oh. folks. Then good night, folks. <laughs> <laughs> How good did oh, that be, man? That's so good. <laughs> I mean, that's just like. That is that is that would be like if you're a stand-up comic, you just got pulled out of Lebanon and you didn't know Nashville exists. <laughs> and you just and then you're like, I've been doing comedy in Lebanon for 15 years. Hmm. All right, sorry. Uh, Nicole's Butcher. I and mean, these all sound like stores. <laughs> Do they not? Nicole's but you know. <laughs> Here at Nicole's Butcher Butcher, we exclusively use Reynolds Seal. <laughs> I yeah. I mean it's all just Hi, I'm Nicole, and Nicole's butcher. <laughs> and is it Nicole's? I don't know. That, that, that. <laughs> is it not Nicole? You're emphasizing the butcher part. Like, like Nicole didn't write it. She got her butcher to comment for her. Yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Nicole's butcher. And I know you might be thinking, why did, he, why did she send me out to give the, her answers? But Nicole's busy right now, and she can't be bothered. Nicole. <laughs> is it Nicole's? It might be Nicholas. Nicholas Butcher. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Nicole's Butcher. Hi, right, how you doing? I'm Nicole's Butcher. <laughs> Sor Sogorb. S O R E S O G O R B. Sogorb. Sor Sogorb. Is that the real name? Sor Sogorb. You think that is his real name? This poor guy. Sore? Yeah. Sore <laughs> I hope it's his name. Oh, man. Sore. Get in here. Do you have to say the last name or you just you go sore? And he goes here. Every teacher yeah, I don't think goes, it need to be any here. more specific. <laughs> sore. Uh, he just sits there and the teacher's like, uh, Which one? Sigorb. Oh. 
I thought it was the other sore. Miriam Gregory. I've been a fan of the podcast since day one. Is that, you think that's These right? These names all feel made up. Yeah. <laughs> What's cool? Miriam yeah. Gregory. Source. It feels like almost we were short on comments. <laughs> and then. So Brian went in. And Boat Ramp went in and, <laughs> and then just said, just took. Source. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Miriam <laughs> Gregory. Oh, it's the worst name I've ever heard. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a real Sore. name. A... I don't think he's gonna turn around by the way we yeah. get it. But... Sore is different. <laughs> Maybe Soray. Next next one's uh soda. <laughs> uh seven. <laughs> Which is these are all just Sore. George Costanza names <laughs> that he came up with. Sore. <laughs> Sore oh, it's beautiful. It is, yeah. Sore. I got a good idea what that guy looks like. Uh, I feel like you can, you can picture a, a sore. You can picture him in your head. Oh, You're yeah. like, I, on, I feel like I've never. I don't know what. I don't know what they look like, but I think I could pick them. Oh right. If yeah. you walk, if you said there's there's a hundred people standing in the crowd, one of them's named Sore. I'd be like, I feel pretty good. I could figure out who he is. If you lined up Doctor Khan, Sore Sigor, and Miriam Gregory, I could tell you which one was Sore. I'll tell yeah. you that much. Would you <laughs> is sore male or female? Sore feels like it's sore. Gender, it's gender well, if neutral, it's, if man. It's so if it's so ray, yeah, I'm so ray guess. would be so a lovely lady. Uh, huh? What? <laughs> you know, you don't think so ray's a? These are all. I don't know. <laughs> these names are. <laughs> these are our fans, Aaron. That you're laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the sorest name ever. <laughs> so, well, if it's not if it's Sore Sigour. Sore Sigour. Sore Sigour. Like a Ukrainian ballet dancer or well, something. Well, that they could be big fans. <sighs> Sore Sigour doesn't sound as bad. No. That's what I'm saying. That sounds yeah. like a ballet Sore dancer Sigour from the is, Eastern is, Europe. Yeah. Sore. Sore Sigour. Okay. That actually Sorry. is a beautiful name now. And I'm going to name my next daughter that. I don't. <laughs> We don't have another daughter. But Soray find, Bargetsy? Yeah, Soray Bargetsy. I feel like if I find some little girl sitting out now on the side of the road and I, she lives with us, I feel like that's how you get a Soray in your family. <laughs> you don't, they're not born into that family. You find <laughs> them and, they, and, they're, and they're, they're put with that family. <laughs> Turler. That's the guy's name. T U R R L U R R. Turler. I think that's his real name? I don't know. I don't. You don't, Aaron? I don't, How dude. do you not think that that guy I know we have a history of colorful names on the podcast, but Turler. The Turler family? I bet its name is <laughs> the Lur family. The Lur? The Lur family? You, you I think Lurs? his name is Tyler, and he's being funny. Turler. Mm. Ooh, Tyler. Mm-hmm. Tyler Lur. That's what I think. All right, you go with Tyler. I go with his name is actually Turler, <laughs> and he has to live with it. This podcast is officially too dumb for me. Goodbye, folks. <laughs> We had a good run. I guess we never know. Uh, right. I guess he's, we're never know. He's never even going to hear his comment being read. Yeah. Turler. He's out. Too dumb. <laughs> what does he want it to be? I know, right? Yeah, go, go get the TED Talks podcast. Too. Yeah, I mean, there's other podcasts. Like, that's what's like... Uh, that would be like if you're watching the Titans play and you go, it's just too much football. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Why do you not watch the Titans? It's a lot of football. Why don't they throw in some other stuff? And right. you're like, you know what? They should. They <laughs> we, should throw in other stuff. You know, stuff. I was talking to Brian. We we had a clip on your Facebook go kind of viral from like the second episode of the podcast yeah. about talking millions, billions, trillions of yeah. dollars. It has like 2 million views, and a really? lot of them have no idea what the podcast is. So they're, the, most of the comments are just like, these guys are morons. Yeah. <laughs> they, think, they think it's like a math podcast. Well, I mean, Turler knows what the podcast is right. and he thinks we're morons. Right, yeah. so Turler made it 23 episodes yeah. before he's like, he gave oh, us he a goes, fair shot. Yeah. Much. He goes, this is, this is, I always love the idea of someone. It's like they're resigning, like leaving a comment. Yeah. He goes, he, get, he didn't even give us a two week notice. I'm out. No. He just goes, like it's so funny to think like uh, you think he's at home and he's talking to his his wife his roommate and he just goes I can't listen to this podcast anymore and they're like oh it's cool so you go stop listening to it I'll probably let them know <laughs> and then I'm gonna stop listening to it like that <laughs> what are you what are you, what are you gonna do for that uh, you go just unsubscribe I'm probably gonna 
somehow let these guys know that I don't think they're good, and then I'm going to back out. You know what I mean? But I think they should know that the Lur is out. The Lur family. Parting shot. The Lur family is, is, is out. Out. Who we knows? met a fan yesterday. You podcast? met a fan? We did. We did. Remember when we were at lunch and the guy came, hey, listen to the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where was it? Oh, yes. The guy we met yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not a big... I don't like talking to the fans out in the public. No. Yeah, very nice guy. Yeah. Uh, Didn't know my name, but... Yeah, he called him Matt. Called Brian Matt. <laughs> so, Nate goes, and Matt? Yeah. Wasn't sure and uh, went with Matt. And so, I don't feel like you look like a Matt. But and uh, I he's like, say, he's, that's a pretty good guess. He said, it's not uh, a bad guess. he said, I don't know why I thought your name was Matt. And they said, Well, we got an Aaron. He's like, Oh, yeah, I know Aaron. Love Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but his name was Ben. I know him. But then we left. He's like, What was your name one more time? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I should have said Worf. He was very Worf. nice. See if he's a real fan of the, you know, <laughs> does he dive deep? Like, did you go back to episode one? Yeah. You one of those real fans? <laughs> like, <laughs> Are you just a new guy that shot, showed up in episode two? Uh, I mean, I stole a base once and thought that somehow the guy had fouled, ball, fouled the ball back, and I ran back to first. <laughs> and it confused him so much. <laughs> I was on second, and I thought I only fouled him back, so I started running back for about halfway there. He was like, so I went to the front the first, and I had to slide head first into first base. Back to the base. <laughs> and I'm back right where I was with the first base coach. Oh, <laughs> and he's like, what are you doing, man? You were there. I was like, I thought they fouled it. I thought they fouled it. I didn't know. <laughs> so in a way, I stole two bases. <laughs> That's, so good. That's never happened before. I mean, You're the only one that ever <laughs> You stole a base, then you stole it to the back. The look on my first wow. base coach's face when he saw me coming back there. Wow. Oh, dude. I mean, just to be, <laughs> just to have to dive in, just to like have to, you have to slide to fix a problem that shouldn't be a problem. Like you're getting back to the, the original. You could be like, dude, you could just stay here, man, and we wouldn't be going through this. And for you to get all the way to second. And then, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's amazing. That's man. like, that's. Yeah. I feel like with you, you end up. Anybody else, it's like maybe you make it back to first, but you just go back to first, and you're like, well, that was a stupid. <laughs> and you're the only one that gets in a battle situation, <laughs> just trying to get back to the original spot. I mean, it's a full on real play. I mean, I went in head first. <laughs> it, the ump had to call safe. Oh, dude, that's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. good. All right. All right. Let her rip. Love the show, boys. I absolutely absolutely disagree with Nate's stance on asking for a source. Uh, you should always ask for a source because reporters, broadcast journalists, and writers can literally report right anything. And claim it as fact without posting a source. How would you ever know if it was fact, opinion, or pre- pure speculation without being provided a source to where they get the, get the information that is being reported to you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get the idea, but I'm saying we, we shouldn't be a, to a point – that a guy has to ask a professional newspaper for a source. Like, you shouldn't be asking. They should be presenting. That's the point. They should be presenting the source. Oh, okay. They should be like, here's the sources. I do get it. That's The system is what's messed up. Okay. And then seeing a comment that says, hey, what's your source? Mm-hmm. Is crazy. I, I think there's a mix of, like, the newspaper should be given sources, and then that guy, I bet that guy just goes around and asks people for sources. Mm-hmm. You know what? We should all just ask everybody for sources. <laughs> just start doing that. That's actually pretty fun to do. Just go and ask. If someone says anything, or the weather's going to be bad today. Yeah, what's your source about that? Where's your, I'd like to see your sources on the weather today. You challenge the weather, man, about it? Yeah. I'm, I'm saying you? at home, just start. Oh, family. Everybody, friends family, family, friends. Everybody just start doing that. Hey, is this 20, if you had Target, you know, is this 20% off? I don't think it is today. Well, what's your source that says that? Just ask everybody, let's start asking everybody for sources. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in, right? Yeah, I've done yeah. that with you before. Yeah. You'll what's say, th- th- they say, so, and I was like, who's they? It's they. It's always they. Yeah. I do. Let's all ask. But I mean, get the dumber and dumber. 
Try to go and see how dumb you can ask someone for a source that confuses them. What can you do that can go? I got Outback last steak. I got ordered Outback last night, and they uh, I ordered the, whatever I ordered, the steak. They didn't have, you know, filet or something, or prime rib they didn't have. And uh, I was really coming to some money, so I ordered the prime <laughs> rib at Outback. Uh, and they, they go, we don't have the – we're out of prime rib. And I could ask that guy, well, yeah, what's, what's your, your source? <laughs> yeah, the chef in the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's his source? Yeah. What's, yeah. That's what I should, well, what's your source on this? Because it was just the manager that called me. And then I want to hear him go, yeah, the chef in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I go, all right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And then I move on. I go, all right. Then I'll take uh, a ribeye. What if we were a heist? You know? Us three. Oh, boy. Three of us? Three of us. It wouldn't go well. I mean. Yeah. What would we be? Well, what who would be the mastermind? Be? I mean, I think I'd be the mastermind. <clears throat> yeah, I would be the diversion guy. I would, like, block security cameras. You know, I could be... <laughs> I could, I could, you could take out two at the same yeah, time. Yeah, he, he would be he would be a little more technical guy. I'd be the look. I'd dress up as a UPS guy and just like I don't know, hold a balloon in front of a security yeah. camera, that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, mm. I'm not. I I, you know, I don't think I'd want to take the lead of a heist, but I think with us, I would have to take the lead of the heist. <laughs> I, I would think with our the best. I would prefer to get a crew that I could maybe rely on someone else. Just because it's, I'm such new to this. Yeah. But if this is the only crew I got, I think I'm taking control. I think of it. you would. Somebody would be standing too close to you at the back of the line. You'd blow it before you even started. You start yelling. <laughs> I don't out. think so. I don't think. I definitely don't think you would be at the scene of the crime. No, I'd be I the would, getaway driver. I don't I'm a good driver. I, I know. Are you a good? No. Driver? You're no. Good. Yeah. 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 That's I'm crazy. safe. Ten and two. You'd be yelling at people. I would. I would get I would, out of the way. No, but you would. We would run out. Yeah. And then you would be like, I got to let the car warm up. <laughs> like, and then we would sit, like you would, you have no sense of urgency. So we talk, so you would, you would be a lot of, I'm getting over when I can. And yeah. it's like, but uh, you the, don't make a scene. You got to make a scene to get out, to leave. You got to make the scene. I would be driving to get us out. And then I would be like, now you take over and drive, you know, so you're, you're now we look, we blend in more. But you would we you would get us caught because you would you would be like I gotta follow the laws yeah there's a there's a red light and I'm like I know wait we, so who's the getaway driver you I, mean, I, think do doing, I think I'm doing a lot okay I'll be honest <laughs> I was, was going to say if you're the getaway driver then Brian is like the George Clooney of our organization I think I yeah he's the, I, I, I think can't he's be me back either. at the I think you're back at the house cleaning <laughs> cleaning it. <laughs> Getting uh, snacks ready for us when we get back because I think we will be hungry. Getting water for everyone, and I want <laughs> some cookies. I want. I think we should do some cake. I think we should celebrate. And I want all. I want the, the safe house. That's all I get to do. <laughs> yeah, I think I want you to back there and get, get the room. snacks yeah. ready. I want to make sure that no one's poking around while we are gone, and you could be like, well. I talked to this old lady for quite a while, while right when the heist was going on. I think you're there. I think I don't think I can have you. You come home, the door's locked. Just open it up. No, I, I, yeah, I, I don't think I can. I can risk having you. <laughs> no, you you can't be there. I would be the only reason you guys wouldn't get caught. No, you'd be the absolute reason. You would, you would get it would, something. You'd get in the way. It would be. I can't have you drive, and I can't have you in there. What are you gonna trying do? to jam money in, and you're just like, and you're fumbling it. And you <laughs> drop the bag, and you grab the wrong bag. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm I'm doing the whole thing, man. Yeah, I think I, uh, you know, I think it's me and so Aaron. It's just, okay. Aaron well, what's no, Aaron, Aaron doing? Aaron. Carrying a balloon? Something? So, so somebody, it, he's pe doing because people die from balloons. I I, I could set yeah. a diversion. I'll yeah. I'll do well, something. I just yeah. We don't I want to. Hey, there's nothing wrong with having the the house. That we got to find the safe house to be in order. <laughs> There's nothing that's not crazy, dude. That's a job that has to be done. Someone's got to do it. Be the guy that does the job or it keeps the house in order. Are we splitting the money equally? Yeah. 
right. Yeah, I think we will. I, yes, I'm a, look, I'm a very generous guy, so I do want to always split everything equally. But I think me and Aaron would eventually be upset about that. Yeah. Like, I think, I think, I think it would grow. That, we'd grow to resent you. For we'd grow it. to yeah. be like, I mean, he made the bands. <laughs> you think he really, and I, I don't know who says it first. I think maybe Aaron says it to me first, kind of say, you go, yeah, it's it kind of crazy. Dude. I mean, look, I, he ordered pizza. Pizza was there. It was hot. I had my soda that I like. I like, I get it, dude. I get, I, I'm not saying we don't need the guy. I get why the guy's there. <laughs> Do I think he deserves, yeah. he has zero risk. Say we get caught. He's just a guy living in a house, and he he fits the you know it's gonna be like oh you live alone sir everybody thinks obviously he lives alone <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he fits the description of when the cops go knock on the door you live alone they go so so you live alone they say it first too so, so you live alone here sir you're like well I didn't say that and you go oh, I'm just saying what you're wearing I thought you lived alone. Uh, <laughs> All right, you're making some good points. <laughs> CJ, Brian has resting confused face. That get that makes it is that is that is true. <laughs> well, let me say first of all, when Nate's talking, it's not resting. Yeah. Uh, but I've had this before. When I was a senior in high school, we went on our senior trip to Panama City. It was my first time away from my parents. I was so excited. My friends down there, and we met these girls. And I was trying to be so cool, just hanging out. And out of nowhere, one of these girls just goes. This guy looks worried. <laughs> and they all start dying laughing. Yeah. And they're like, look, he's worried. And the rest of the trip, they called me worried. That was my nickname, was worried. <laughs> worried is such a good word to use. Like if they would have said, this yeah. guy looks confused, worried. worried. <laughs> I mean, they named Unbelievable, They labeled dude. me that. Yeah. God. Oh, man. Worried is such a good word. Yeah. For that situation... Yeah, women know how to cut to cut to your heart, don't they? She could have said confused. That, she could have said that would have ruined the whole trip for me. I mean, I still remember it to this day. <laughs> he could have You're said just scared. trying to hang out. Me I was trying to be so cool by not talking. This guy looks like, yeah, man. Worried. Yeah, and then she. I mean, I haven't said a bum word. over here looks worried. Who's he with? You two? <laughs> and then for them just to call you worried. <laughs> God, oh, that's, that's so funny. funny, dude. I still remember it. How? I mean. That's like, word. That's like professional stand up. That's the you would. It's a great. You cool would down. try different words. Right. You would be scared. If you you would try everything. Yeah. And worried. <laughs> if anybody's like think about comedy, worried is just a very funny word, and it's a it's just such a description that it's not a strong person. And it's a. Good, I mean, it hurts. Like you know, you don't say worried about. Right. He man is not worried. No. You like or like there's you know soldiers are not yeah. worried like they're you know they're confused they're they could be scared scared yeah. is okay yeah worried is, also not worried about anything in particular just worried in worried. general that's a general look <laughs> and it's coming from a, like guys you maybe could say that but from a girl oh yeah and they all laughed i mean i was mortified yeah oh, got more worried <laughs> she got super worried yeah. yeah it's uh it is self-fulfilling Peter Bridge, when Bruce told the story about the woman, I like how it's now just, I mean, it's not even. I can't even find one that calls me by my real name. <laughs> yeah. I looked. And it's what's well, so, it's just how quickly it goes in. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like where it's an obvious, we're making fun of a joke. When Bruce told the story about the woman labeling, I mean, it's just like not a, like a breeze. Yeah. When Bruce told the story about the woman labeling him as worried, it quite literally <laughs> made me pee. <laughs> Those chicks just totally nailed it. <laughs> he still gives off the worried vibe. No offense, Bryce. Uh, yeah. Worried is, I mean, that's unbelievable. Dude. That'd be the name of your album, Worried. It's the name of my life. Yeah. You really should. Your next album should be Worried. My next album. It's just you being, you be, well, you have to do one now. The people are going to want to hear it. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody go buy his first album. It's still out there. And... Uh, but worried is a great name for it. I thought about that yeah. story all week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ace here, Bilbo's PBS pick is underrated. <laughs> That's a pretty good choice for one channel. Thank you. Bilbo. I don't, I don't know if I should thank them or be insulted. That Bilbo's a, I mean, that's a crazy name. He's like, Aaron pointed out someone called me breakfast. Breakfast is unbelievable. <laughs> Breakfast is as good as worried. I, <laughs> I mean, know, man. So someone good. called on this. I don't think it's on here, but yeah. it was in the comments. 
I mean, breakfast is unreal. Dude. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a that's the best one I've heard. <laughs> Just to call him, I don't know, is breakfast coming up? <laughs> it's got the same amount of syllables as Brian. It's got the BR. Yeah. It's perfect. And it's so ridiculous. Man. Yeah. Breakfast is good. <laughs> I like how Brickles and Aaron are finding their niche roles in this production. Aaron, the reluctant genius, and Brisket is the self-deprecating setup man. <laughs> Brigade even smiled and laughed out loud a few times on this one. <laughs> wow, we got some life out of Brigade. <laughs> These are Breakfast so is moving around. Mm. Colin Lippert. Bread looks like the substitute teacher that desperately wants the approval of the full-time teachers. That's a great, that's like a real comic comment. <sighs> you look like a substitute teacher that you walk in the the, the teachers lounge. the teachers lounge just like hey guys and it's like hey you, and then one the real teachers like you don't work here full time man i know you're here for a while because miss uh you know whatever miss smith is oh, going through some leave. stuff or, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah she's got because miss johnson's going through a divorce and she can't be bothered by teaching so but you don't work here <laughs> Uh, Matt Kosinski, Nate Rance today had me wanting to run through a brick wall. Great advice for anyone to better themselves. Love the podcast a lot. Bon Bon and Aaron are amazing and can't wait to see them both grow like you. Bon Bon, what do you, what name do you think you're going to make it as? Cause it's not going to be Brian. <laughs> it's going to be something else. Bon Bon. I like. You like them all. I like. That's why I this do. keeps happening. Cause you encourage yeah. it. I know, but I, I love I mean, Bon Bon. Welcome to the stage, everybody. Bon Bon. You say, I mean, you could be dancing somewhere. <laughs> Named Bon Bon. bon now bon imagine Bates. the disappoint. Everybody, please welcome to the stage, Bon Bon. And then you walk out on stage and like, oh, God. And then some guy's like, just wait. <laughs> he has to just wait. I've been to some bad, some sad zoos. I've, I haven't been to any really good ones. What's a sad one? Yeah, I went to one in Arkansas that was just there's just trash and every a lot of trash. Yeah, and um, and the the saddest part was there's like a penguin exhibit, but it's Arkansas in the summer, so it was just these penguins all huddled up standing in front of a fan in this exhibit. Yeah, it was just I was like, what are why are they here? How do you say it? Yeah, what was the exhibit? It was a penguin. <laughs> yeah, it was different. Penguin. That's a, I say penguin. penguin. I say penguin. Penguin? Penguin. <laughs> Maybe that's, I mean, that look, sounds, you like, you sound right. like the guy that would run that penguin exhibit. <laughs> hey, what do you got going on here? Penguin. I'm just penguin. I got a couple penguins and we got bought, put a couple penguins downtown. I bought the other day, the other night, I bought a couple penguins. I've never, pang, you would I've, seem penguin. like a guy that someone that says like that sells penguins <laughs> to zoos. That are kind of under the radar. How are you supposed to say it? Penguin. Penguin? Yeah. I mean, that's what it's I say. It's an E. P-E-N-G-U-I-N. Penguin. You're saying, you're saying it like an A. You're saying it like an I. But I and E can sound the same. Yours should be P-A-N-G. I mean, you want to look, can you look this up? Can you look up the pronoun? I mean, this might be, nobody's interested in this, but now I, I feel. Look, ping- you may be right. March, I don't think so. March of the Penguins. I mean, it's, I would like to say if two people in this room. How does Morgan say, Freeman say it in March of the Penguins? Penguin penguins, books. Penguin. Oh, here we go. Penguin. <laughs> penguin. Hey, you got some. What are you selling? I got a couple of penguins in the back of the truck. They're a nice box. That's how. <laughs> they're they're in my, a nice box. They're a nice box. I thought right usually now. Wikipedia shows you like the it's pronunciation. Like, yeah, you could do if you usually if you just if you just type in penguin pronunciation on Google, you should be able to there be a just hear someone say penguin. Oh yeah. Well, Whoa, you gotta have to go. This, this I want to hear somebody who. I want to hear the legit. One yeah. of those said penguin prostitution. Now you, go. Now you did go. I not say that? Let's see. <laughs> it did. All right, penguin. There it is. Say. Oh well, yeah. Well, click do the it. click the that button right to the right of it. Let's hear it. No, the the. Uh, that's to the right. No, I know, right, oh, directly right. to the right of. I don't click, click, click it. Penguin. Penguin. Uh, uh, penguin. 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 <laughs> hey, we're she both said here. It's just like I said it. No. Penguin. 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 <laughs> Slow it down. Slow it. Yeah. There you go. Penguin. 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 There you go. Penguin. I think we're both thinking we're saying that right. 
All right, and this is like a again. Yachty Laurel yeah. type yeah, thing. Yeah, so you're, hear- you're hearing Pang? I'm hearing Penguin. Because I'm hearing Penguin. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's hi. How you doing? <laughs> what do you got back there? Got a couple penguins. One of them's all white. Uh, is it? I ain't never seen one. Of those. All white. It's all white. all white. One's all white. Doesn't have like that tuxedo jacket on. No, it doesn't have it. I did a. Uh, pod- How'd you get that one? He goes, where is it at? It's in the front with me. It rode up with me in the front. <laughs> it doesn't get too cold. It doesn't need. It's ninety-five degrees in Arkansas right now. Yeah. Got a couple. How much think a couple penguins? How much they go for? Fifty bucks. And he goes, I mean, a guy like that wouldn't know how to set. It. Like he wouldn't know that he can make money off of it. Is he go? How much you want for about those fifty bucks? Get on that. You crazy? Fifty dollars <laughs> for a penguin? A couple penguins. One of them's not even the right color. Uh, <laughs> he said, he goes, uh, twenty-five. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Penguin. <laughs> penguin. I want some penguins. And then they sell that's a restaurant. You go, I'll take two penguins, two penguin burgers. <laughs> go type in when you were typing that stuff in, yeah. X out of the a lot. Yeah. Here. Go penguin P. Now P. I swear, P R uh Yeah, penguin prostitution. What is that? I don't know what this we're not sure what this is. Oh, it's a thing. Penguin prostitution. Uh, oh, they want rocks more than sex. Oh, uh, do oh uh, do penguins have oh uh, we should uh, be talking. Oh, about. this is inappropriate. Yeah, this is uh, what what this did this podcast is off the rails I mean, already? Is, I mean, what happened? <laughs> I mean, that's the best uh, thing you could hope. What do you think was going to be the guy in Wilkesbury down the, down the alley? I thought it could be something that has nothing to do with penguins. <laughs> I thought, I honestly. I honestly thought it would be like that's what they call some other thing, <laughs> and and then penguins are nothing. It's penguin, but it's straight up penguin. <laughs> we got penguin problems. How much you want? I love a guy selling that. And a couple of penguins in the back. One's one's all black. It doesn't have any white feet or blue. Is it? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Is you kidding me right now? I'm trying to start my own zoo, and I'd I love some penguins is the thing that I think set us over the top. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what the guy says that wants to. Because if I get a couple of penguins, I think we'll be, we'll be just right. I charge $8 to get in that place. Get a couple of penguins. I love, I love that. The, the, the official pronunciation is how I was saying it. It was, you know, just let that for the record. All right. All right. So that's your worst? Yeah, I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, the Arkansas one. It's the place that had in a, that had a penguin exhibit. I want to believe in aliens because it shows that some civilization didn't blow themselves up, and were able to get out in space and have some fun. Is that a hopeful that, thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's should be other civilian stations that they ble- the planets blew themselves up. Yes, is that what they think? I think that. Did you say uh, civilian stations? Yeah, <laughs> civilian. Yeah, I got one a broken big... word up in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's one big happy civilian station. I mean, I you're trying to say civilization? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It blew me a while. It's like civilian station. <laughs> and you want people to take this seriously? You're right, right? Oh, all right. <laughs> How are they going to take us seriously? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're... Oh, boy. Maybe they... But I hope something is called Civilian Station. <laughs> that's what Earth is called. We are a station for civilians. Yeah, that's a good point. Drop-off point. I think I'm ahead of the game. And these, and I, I feel like an alien talking to dumb humans a lot. Because people make fun of the, what I say. And I'm like... And I always just go, you're C. You're going to one day use this You'll, civilian yeah. stuff. A lot of weeks in the comments, the next week someone will say, Nate was actually right. It's He's ahead of his time <laughs> There's somehow. There's no such thing as civilization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a conspiracy. Is there been other civil- <laughs> civilizations? Sniveling nations. Civil- <laughs> is there been other civilian stations? We've had cri- is that, I don't think that's a, ru- critical, that's not a crazy question. Critical right? comedy reaction. <laughs> is there, it's a meltdown. In all seriousness, though, is there, so there's been other civilian stations. That's what we're going to call other planets. Where civilians have lived is what they say, and they're gone. 
I would think they, they, they the argument <laughs> say, the argument is the reason we've never found in all our vast searching. I'm sorry. <laughs> So Success. Air may now need to step out. To see oh. some uh, life out. <laughs> That's so funny. The <laughs> argument is, in all our searching of all the cosmos, one argument is maybe because they've long since destroyed themselves, and they advance like we do with nuclear weapons or some sort, and then they eventually just kill themselves. And so the all right. <laughs> 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 Aaron's done. Civilian stations. It's uh, that's what we're gonna call this episode. Uh, <laughs> don't you think that's a good? So that's how to describe <laughs> Earth. You know, nobody's ever made that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a driveling vacation. <laughs> Civilization. <laughs> I just kind of stopped. I. It was like. Stop a, saying. Uh, <laughs> He, know, he, was, he was at the breaking point, and that was well, just the shove he needed. I was, it was like I was walking down a road. I looked the other way, and then I, then I go, where was I? And I was, but I was still in the same word when all that happened. It gets better. So I said, better. civilian. Wait station, till you're sixty. Civilian nation. Things come out of your mouth. You don't even know. It's not my Why? fault. I was raised. I was taught by humans. Uh, all right. <laughs> Scientists have suggested permanently dimming the sun to save South Africa from deadly dry spells. I mean, who is it a drunk homeless guy that just shouts these ideas out? Turn the sun down. You know what we should do? Turn the sun down. The plan involves pumping vast quantities of gas into the atmosphere above Cape Town to preserve local water supplies. Research suggests injecting particles. So furious. <laughs> I mean, it's just <laughs> the gas would form a huge cloud above the city that reflects sunlight, dimming the environment on the ground below. I think that's a great idea. I mean, that's like you know, you can't yell at us about global warming and then this is the deal. This is you're like, well, how, what's your answer for it? We're gonna dim the sun <laughs> or some, whatever it is. It doesn't make. I can't imagine. Shooting gases up in the isn't that the main thing? That's the problem. <laughs> we got too many gases in the air, and they're like, I know, but they're not these gases. Uh, I mean, unbelievable. Can you imagine if someone floats that idea to take at a science table? That at just came science, out, that just came out, yeah, 2020. Yeah, that's not some drunk scientist smoking a cigarette in a lab, <laughs> you know, I mean, where they doctors gave they baby was born with a cigarette in his mouth, like. But there was no rules. <laughs> yeah. That's 2020. Wow. That guy's in the middle of a pandemic. Wow. And this is what he's gotten to. You know what? What if we dim the sun? You're like, hey, why don't you not publicly let that get out that you said that? <laughs> That's what someone should have said to him immediately. <laughs> What'd you say? He said, hey, what guys, if we dim the sun? Uh, we should just turn the sun down a little bit. Wait, oh, we're just doing knob and just turn it down? <laughs> Install a dimmer, dude. Johnny, get... Just Dr. Sadad... Con Johnny Dr. Red, Con. Johnny Red, <laughs> Johnny Red. On who it, do man. you think did that? Let's say one of the names is Doctor Con, the other is Johnny Red. Sounds like Johnny Red's <laughs> idea. You're right, Johnny Red. It's actually, sore, sore <laughs> Sogbe, sore Sogabor, oh, man, sore Sogor, sore Sogor, <laughs> sore. Uh, sore. Go ahead. Saw your hand up. What if we dim the sun? <laughs> Soar? Save your work, Soar, and then get out of here. Say, save your... Unbelievable. Save your work. Soar? <laughs> Soar, don't ever say something like that ever. Uh, right when Soar said it. Uh, what if we dim the sun? Can uh, can everybody leave except Soar? And then everybody just got up and left. And he goes, Soar, what, what, what are you doing? Dude? What, are you out of your mind? Dim the sun. <laughs> You went to college, dude. You, I mean, like, what? They're teaching you stuff. They're teaching stuff. There's not a dimmer. You know how long it took us to learn to dim lights in a house? Yeah. And you want to dim the sun? It's not like we just figured that out. It wasn't like the light was invented, then we started dimming them. You want us to dim the sun? We don't even know. You know how big it is? It's gigantic. Pretty big, man. It's pretty big. So traveling is a big deal. It's a big deal during the holidays. Uh, what is it the most... When's the, do you know, like the most traveled? Most traveled, day? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Why, always, why is Thanksgiving? 
I but, guess Santa, yes. Santa Claus travels. So Santa's got to come to your home. So that's, you know. Yeah, people have, with kids, they want to stay home to yeah, do so. that. But Thanksgiving's more of a go see the... It's also a secular holiday. So everybody, all Americans celebrate it, I feel like. Yeah. It's a big word, man. But uh, I thought you were going to argue that's why Thanksgiving is more travel. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why Thanksgiving is more travel. Would you say that word just at your dinner I, table with your family? Secular? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the conversation. Would that be, a con- would that be the conversation that comes up? Maybe, and man. you go, it's my favorite secular holiday. <laughs> and your family would just, you come from a smart family though, right? So you guys probably use, you do like I guess I remember using that because my parents would made us go to mass on Thanksgiving sometimes. And I remember being like, come on, this is a secular holiday, dude. This isn't even. You would say that in an argument oh, yeah. to your like, parents. Come on, this is a secular holiday. What are we, we can't. What are we doing here? We, yeah. Yeah. Church and state. Come on. I mean, <laughs> you're kidding. I mean, wow, dude. Wow. Yeah. Did you have a lab coat on? <laughs> Did. <laughs> I mean, that's. <laughs> You use it in. I mean, I don't. Yeah. You know, yeah. I we we just my family. We just clap at each other. We make noises. <laughs> We're like monkeys. We're like, yeah. We're just you know. <laughs> they throw things. They call throw each other things, idiots. Call each other. Yeah. <laughs> We're the idiot family, and we just you know. Yeah. Just stomp on the ground when you want something. <laughs> you know, it's like how horses talk to each other. <laughs> that's how. That's what we. That's what goes on in our family. You just walk in, <laughs> mm-hmm. just hear noises. <laughs> you listen to the well sounds. You're like, no, my mom's cooking some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not using secular. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah. If I threw that around my family, we'd all be like, oh, all, right. <laughs> all right, whoa, someone, <laughs> someone's taking some online classes somewhere, aren't we? <laughs> oh wow, must be nice. Religious people, some believe that Mary uh, conceived nine months before Christmas and on like March 25th, and therefore they made December 25th the day they think Jesus was born. But there's no like mention of when Jesus was born in the Bible. Yeah. Isn't it supposedly, you know, the people just think it's July, right? I always heard I've heard, spring, I've heard some people think yeah. spring or summer. But they weren't yeah. using a Gregorian calendar back then. Right? No. Yeah. So who knows what timing. No. So. Would y'all use a Gregorian calendar too? <laughs> would y'all do that a lot? That's the calendar that we all use, the Gregorian calendar, right? Did, but would you, with those words, I mean, I just would love to be that. Like you bring your, your girlfriend over like from high school and you go, my family, it's great. Thanks for coming. And then it's, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like, hey, how you doing? What's your, so what's your favorite secular holiday? <laughs> you know, on the Gregorian calendar, obviously. And then the little, the girl's like, What? <laughs> That's the word y'all you guys are gonna you just run her off. And then your Russian grandfather comes barreling in, <laughs> hopping on a hat. And she's like, I thought you were like from Alabama. It's like, it's like, nah, it's my that's my peepop that comes has been chopping wood. Came over about two months ago. Yeah. Is that what happened? I think so. Am I ballparking what's going yeah, on? There? That's that's pretty yeah. good. That's fair. Yeah. What would you guys guess it was the first invention ever? The, uh, the wheel. Oh, you know what? No. I looked up inventions once, trying to write a joke about them. Uh, is it the... I don't think it's the wheel. Uh, it wouldn't be fire. I mean, I, I would almost say uh, lever. A lever? A, like a pulley or a lever, maybe? Uh, like a fulcrum. What? Like it's a fulcrum. <laughs> you know, like a seesaw thing. Oh yeah, that kind of. Is that what they say? Is that fulcrum, what you said? Fulcrum be the thing in the middle. Is that what you say when, when you go ride as a kid? You're just a fun kid. You guys want to go fulcrum? <laughs> and everybody's like, oh god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that why you, do you remember riding the fulcrum a lot alone? <laughs> is it that? Is it because that's that's how you described a lot of stuff? Hey, do you guys want to go ride the fulcrum? And they go, I don't, you know. Anybody just, want a fulcrum? We're going to just swing. I mean, that swing. is what it is, right? Anyway. So what do you think is going to do? I think I can get through a dozen chocolate. Yeah. Which I, I guess is, I, I did, it's like, if two dozen, it's a 228.80 calories is a dozen chocolate. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, man. That's like 2880. You just said a number that didn't exist. 2880? 20, 2,880. <laughs> okay. You don't think that's a 2,880? 
I mean, 2880 calories. Uh, <laughs> so Bates uh, ate. Do we have a time limit? No, but it's like just how do, we Being don't be all day. We, yeah. Okay. You tried to just go down there and eat. Bates ate. Laura, what do you think? I said eight originally. Eight. So Bates and Laura ate. So who could basically beat eight? And I'm doing, a, a, I say a dozen chocolate. And I honestly think I could get some glazed in there after that. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you're still hungry after if that. If I'm still, if we can drink and stuff, right? So I think it'd be fun. And yeah. then, so I think a dozen, two dozen. So it's over under. Can you get to two dozen is the answer. Okay. That's, I think two dozen is the thing. Can I get through a dozen chocolate? And do I add some glazed on? I don't know. <laughs> but those are, I think those are the highlights. Eight. Two dozen, one dozen chocolates. <laughs> so funny the difference. We do eight, yeah. so twenty-four, twenty-four. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what I'm doing. Twelve. I'm trying to meet you halfway. I know. It's I know. It's just where. Like, but I got chocolate. You guys are professionals. Sounds, yeah. This is what we do, man. I think we're it. I think I might be about done. Okay. Where, I'm where, feeling we, it. where do you stand? All right. Hold on. So, yeah. I mean, I think. Look. I mean, I feel I'm at. And I, I was a letdown. I think we all agree Laura was the biggest letdown. But, uh, I did three and a half. Three and a half. I, uh, we went, you know, my, our numbers are not excited. Laura did three and a half. I was, I thought I could do a dozen. Uh, I did chocolate to start. I think I did four chocolate, four chocolate, and then uh, two and a half of original glaze. Switched it up. So I'm at six and a half. <laughs> Before being chocolate, so that's something. And if you chocolate's a little, it's different. It's, it's a different. different animal for sure. It's a different, yeah. It's it a goes lot. down different. The, the texture's different. It's hard, you know. Uh, it's a lot going on. Brian, breakfast. This is he should uh, succeed at this as, as, as we call him breakfast, and he did. <laughs> he did better than expected. Uh, we said eight was the over under. Yeah. He did nine. Yep. Nine, pretty easy, pretty easy. Aaron, Mr. 36, <laughs> Mr. Iraq. What? Uh, <laughs> I had How many 12 more? glaze and one chocolate. 13. Uh, 13. 12 glaze, one chocolate. 13, hey, I'll 13 give and you a third. Yeah, right. I'll give you that, uh, the chocolate, or I'll give you the, the dozen, it's definitely tough, man. Yeah. It's not an easy thing. You saying 36 is unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. Kyle M. Dear Nathaniel, I am a teacher in China, and I can't go one more day without you using the word good as an adverb. <laughs> the correct word is well. I've heard five-year-old Chinese kids speak better than you. <laughs> one of them even has a guided horse. Perhaps bridal path should be catching these. Where, Kyle? Oh. Well, Cal, how about I tell you, I don't even, not really sure what an adverb is. <laughs> so how does that make you feel? He gave an example here. <laughs> I didn't even pick up on it. <laughs> where was the... It's Underneath it, here's an ex it's where it says, here's an example. Oh, I've read. Oh, here's an example. <laughs> Incorrect. He plays golf good. Correct. He plays golf well. <laughs> uh, look, I'm not an adverb guy. <laughs> And I don't talk about adverbs. I don't think I've ever talked about them. He thinks a pronoun's a noun that but gets I say good, paid I do to be say a good, sentence. I say good a lot, but I will say, I do know that when I'm saying good, that it's, a lot of times it's not good. But I do it, it's saying it different, which sticks out. I'm in a job of words. So he plays golf well. I'm not going to talk like that. That doesn't fit. It's funnier when I say, it's good. Good is what's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's what's funny. If it gets under your skin, that means it's probably a better way of being funnier. Mm -hmm. All your Chinese kids, you're not going to make it in comedy. If they, <laughs> you know, talk to them a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure they speak better than me. The, you know, but we're, we're not competing for the same job. <laughs> good on them. He spoke well. <laughs> Lucas Vicroy, there's almost 14 minutes on court gestures and less than 90 seconds on the Crusades. If that tells you anything about this pod, <laughs> that tells you a lot about this pod. I mean, that is 
Exactly right. You guys have learned about the Crusades long enough. Right. Court gestures. Yeah, we spent 15 minutes on rolling the farter, and then we were just like, and the Crusades happened. Yeah, oh, well, that All seemed right. like a court, tough time. Court what? Court gestures. <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> gestures? You got called out a lot from people. Oh. G- jesters. Jesters. Yeah. Gestures. You, you say gestures. Like, I say like Chester. Like Chester drawers? No, like. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think that's who invented them? Court Jester and then in Chester drawers, and he goes, I'll just change it to CH, and then didn't even notice. Uh, we're going to sell uh, Chester drawers on our website. Uh, what do you mean? Jester is not like, I'm putting an H in there. Yeah, you're saying it like, oh, that was a nice gesture. Gesture. But it's okay. just her. Just her. No, like just, just her, just her, <laughs> just her, just her. her Who's dad. in there? Just her. She's in there alone. That's closer. Court jester, just her. The court uh, so just I should her. say just her. That's closer than gesture. Court jester. That's better. <laughs> just her in court. Uh, uh, Chris, I mean, was, yeah, those words I have trouble. Like uh, when there's, you know, those words. Like there's a. There's a collision of sounds right in the middle of them. <laughs> yeah. I, have a, I have a tough time, you yeah. know? When there's a car wreck of noise in the middle of a word, I have a, I have a, bit, a bit of a trouble, a bit of a trouble with it. My dog went story. In 2006 in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, me, my brother, and two friends were walking in the back of an unfinished neighborhood in the black man community. Black Blackman. <laughs> that sounds much better than that, man. <laughs> I mean, that sound. <laughs> You're like, where's this yeah, going? Yeah, I was like, oh, my God. That's crazy. <laughs> Unfinished neighborhood in the black man community. You're like, oh, what is this podcast? That's, I mean, that's crazy. Oh, <laughs> How man. you say that is super important. That's a very important. I should have got some heads up. I should have been briefed before we got to that one. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Maria Alvarez Shout out from a stenographer <laughs> <laughs> It's when the words like come around the corner And surprise yeah. me You know what I mean yeah. It's I don't know they're there And it's it's like I just get the You know Stenographer There you go it's, wow. Well I know But it's, yeah. it's honestly It's the word just is like I don't know That's a word you don't see written very often Oh Aaron you know? No The whole job is writing it But they just say it uh yeah, it kind of surprised me. That's how I look at it. If I don't know a word, that's what just understand that's what it is. Onomatopoeia is actually not that hard of a word to say. And it I bet if you you look at it, you'd be like, oh no, I don't mm-hmm. know. Onomatopoeia. Mm. It kind of just finishes itself. You start <laughs> Ana and you're like, Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get well, a Might as well do Monopia. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're already down there. We're already <laughs> Matt Oregon, my 10th grade English teacher taught us that on a, on a, mon, on a what is it? On a monopia. On a monopia. On a monopia. On a monopia is the second most rhythmical, rhythmical, <laughs> rhythm. What is that word? Golly. Rhythmical. Rhythmical. <laughs> on a monopia is the second most rhythmical. <laughs> that felt like I was like trying to jump over and not fall in the water hearing that word. Rhythmical. Just, rhythmical. Like I just kept. Like trying to cross a creek and not get my feet wet. You got to kind of, the last one's a little bit farther. I'm like, I'll get there. Dim, oh man. Demelza. D-E-M-E-L-Z-A. I think that's right. Demelza. Demelza. That, the, uh. Let's get started again. It's like, that way you describe the use of the knife and fork is how everyone in Commonwealth countries Generally operate their cult, their culture, cut, cut recovery, cut to re- <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh cut the Larry, <laughs> cut the Larry, cut, the- <laughs> cut Larry, Larry. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out, Larry. How do you say it? Cutlery. 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 Opera, generally operate their cutlery. Y'all, I feel like y'all are making fun of someone that's got a problem. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> no, think that's very nice. <laughs> during COVID, I just my foot just started hurting. Yeah. Middle of the night, I couldn't sleep. This is and I before Krispy Kreme. This I, <laughs> yeah. get, I want that on the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's nothing to do with Krispy Kreme. And it wasn't. It wasn't like I looked up like diabetic nerve pain. I was yeah. like, what is this? Couldn't figure it out. And yeah. I couldn't describe it better than just my foot hurt real bad. Yeah. The whole foot. And I just couldn't sleep. I called my mom. She goes, just go to the ER. It could be a blood clot or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. So I go to the ER. I'm the only one there. And and the whole time, I'm like, I, they're just going to think that this is, like, not a real thing. Yeah. So I was just so nervous about trying to articulate how bad it hurt. So I'm sitting in the chair thing, and the person comes in, and they're like, did you – did you hurt it? Did you bump it into something? I was like, no. You know, did you twist it? I go, I was just sitting down and it just started hurting. Yeah. <laughs> so she goes, okay. And I see her walk out in the hallway and like a group of them. And they kind of all look at me at once and then look back. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, they're just talking yeah. trash out there, dude. They're like, we'll give you an x-ray maybe. I mean, it's yeah. not a, anyway, they just gave me, sent me home. Yeah. And it got fine after a while. I don't it know. It never what hurt happened. you again? No. It hurt so bad though. And I had no idea what it Could was. Could you walk on it? No, I couldn't walk on it. And then and no medicine or anything. It just went away. They said, just take some ibuprofen. <laughs> like, it's some aspirin. I was like, can I get a prescription? They're like, look, you don't need a prescription. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. I took some aspirin. Yeah. I didn't even take a hundred. I just took three or four. And it went away and you're fine now. Yeah, I'm fine. Danny Pritchard. Aaron, your foot pain sounds like gout. <laughs> I'm 66 years old and just started experiencing gout in my foot, and it is an identical feeling to what you described. I'm much older than you. You're a big boy. (laughs) And and obesity is something that can cause gout. I'm sorry, dude. (laughs) That's a, that is like, I mean, Danny Pritchard just said, Aaron, can I talk to you privately for a <laughs> yeah. second? And set you down and goes, I don't know how to tell you this, man. I will say, if you sent me a message or a DM or an email about the fact that I might have gout, I'm sorry I haven't responded. I got dozens. Yeah. Dozens of messages. Yeah. People say I need to get my uric acid level checked. Yeah. yeah. When I get a doctor, I'll be sure to do that. But I need to get a doctor first. Uh, yeah, you'll but, be all right. uh, Yeah, I'll be all right. But thank go to, you. Go thank to, you, go everybody. Go to a drive-in, or what, go to uh, Walgreens, <laughs> and just go up to the front and go, hey, doing? Uh, I think you can ask the cashier. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Not even the pharmacy, just uh, the cashier yeah, in the yeah. front? Can you test my uric acid? <laughs> Hey, my left foot hurt. You think it's gout? <laughs> hey, I'm not even 30 yet, and I might have yeah. gout. So can you take a look at that, please? <laughs> She's going to go, that makes sense. Uh, I think you got your answer there. You don't need a doctor. You just mention it here. We got doctors on here. Yeah, we do. So you just say what your problems are, and then they, I think this is, if gout feels like the higher percentage. Yeah. Was there yeah. any other fun? Yeah, there was. There was um, diabetes and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just nerve damage in general i yeah. think oh yeah a few others i mean this is worse than looking up online <laughs> because it's just i mean just everybody's everybody gets the but they want everyone wants to make sure you're fine yeah what what is gout yeah gout's a tough one that's tough to all say. i know about gout is that it's in the adam sandler lunch lady song he says that the lunch lady has gout. Yeah. And that put kind of a stigma on yeah. it for me <laughs> yeah. personally. Yeah. You don't want it. So I hope I don't have it. You don't have it. But but I'll get it checked out just for everybody's yeah. peace of mind. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's I don't see how you don't have it. To did be you honest. cancel uh, your gym membership? Oh, no. But somebody commented that I could do that with a letter. Mail them a letter. Oh, which, that's nice. Which is, I'm not sure if that's easier. Hello, than. folks at Planet <laughs> Fitness. My name is Aaron Weber, as in the grill. <laughs> and I would like to cancel my fitness plan with you, as you might have noticed. I can't really remember even which building I signed up at. Never been. Also found out I have gout. <laughs> so having trouble standing on my foot. You have the number? Yeah, I got it when you're ready. We're ready. So this is what's my what's my plan of attack here? I just go it's straight COVID. in. You have COVID. You have gout. I, no, I so you can't go, huh? <laughs> you're you're high risk. You're. Uh, I mean, that's all true. I, I don't know. You you stop me when I'm keep spitting truth at you. All right. <laughs> Listen, I got COVID. 
I have gout. I you kicked out your in. hat today. Yeah, well, you're I just, a mess. Why don't you just first see if you can cancel without any questions? Then, oh, that's a good call. Yeah, and then go to and COVID. then only give them a reason if that. All right, I'm yeah. calling them. And they go well, COVID, and then they Planet Fitness. They probably won't even answer. And then, and then if they say, "All right, there it is, it's ringing." Wonder if they have a. Fitness. This is Allison. How can I help you today? Hey, Allison. My name is Aaron. Uh, I am a member of this particular Planet Fitness. I was hoping to cancel my membership over the phone. Okay. So, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to do it over the phone, but we do have other options available for you if I can go through those with you. Okay. That'd be great. So, we do have our facilities open, so you are able to come in person anytime. We're 24-7. And you can cancel in person at one of our terminals with a team member. If you're unable to do that with work or schedules or just not comfortable with coming into the facility, you can always send us a letter in the mail. We would just need to see you or that letter in club by the 10th of any month to avoid any further monthly billing. Um, if you happen to have moved out of state and you're no longer near our particular location, you may be eligible to transfer your account to a location that is closer to you. And then you would have the option to also go in person or send that location a letter. Tell me you have gout. Okay. So I the only way I could cancel, I can't do it over the phone. I got to either send a letter or come in. Send a picture of your Correct. gout. If I. What does the letter have to say? If it's uh, like, if it's just COVID concerns will keep me from coming in, then the only way is the letter, huh? That is correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you getting a lot of people calling to try to do this or am I the, the first one? No, we definitely have a lot of people. Um, unfortunately, whenever we first reopened back in June of 2020, for the first maybe 60 days, we were accepting things over the phone. But things were getting very murky mm -hmm. as far as people making sure that things were going through the proper way. And it was just becoming an issue on not... not even got a bit of a talker on there, huh? On uh, they would claim that they called when they really didn't. I mean, it would be very muddy. Um, so we have begun going strictly back to um, following the per agreement of coming in person or sending that letter through. Okay. Thanks, Allison. I'll send a letter. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Write them a handwritten letter. To a handwritten one? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. Handwritten is pretty... I mean, for them to see the handwritten, they're going to think something's wrong with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The handwritten Yeah. Letter. They might give you more money back because they're like, this guy... <laughs> This guy doesn't even have a computer. <laughs> There's a good chance they would give you more money back. <laughs> what day would you do it? I'd do it later today, probably when oh, we're done. You put tonight. some time in mm -hmm. tonight. So your calendar reminder will say 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it'll go write letter to Planet Fitness. And then you will go and lick your pen and <laughs> My dearest Planet Fitness. I hope things worked out better than they did. <laughs> dip a little more oh yeah but i never i saw you i never saw you the only day i've seen you is the day i walked in to sign up and i did not work out that day <laughs> did you work out that one day i signed up online dude. You signed up, yeah. <laughs> that's so i mean I, dude sign it up they're like yeah we're doing you can send us a text message mm. i mean we're do sos we're do whatever you want you give us any form of credit card you can pound tables and i mean yeah we'll let you sign up easy to get out write a letter Oof. That's how they, they, they got you. Mm -hmm. The first iPhone came out in 2007. Steve Jobs made a prank call order of 4,000 lattes to a nearby Starbucks. That yeah. was the first call? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember that. And I, then I watched uh, that live. Really? That, so knew it was that keynote. Yeah. He called. Uh, oh, he was doing a keynote. And then, yeah. He showed. It was the first time I remember being amazed by a piece of technology. Mm -hmm. When he scrolled on the iPhone for the first yeah. time, just on the screen. I remember yeah. gasping. Not I was watching it with my sister. Yeah, I grew up with air conditioning. Okay. Yeah. I didn't I remember you probably remember getting it, but <laughs> I grew up with it. So when you my, saw that, you go, <gasps> I did gasp. I, I mean it was on it was unlike anything you'd ever seen. Mm -hmm. This guy's touching a screen yeah, and know. flipping it up. I, I mean like gasping like you've seen I mean, that. I mean like you're watching What just nothing hey, impresses you? You just go I don't know if I'm gonna be FaceTime. sitting you're watching on a television at home. You're not you're not watching Houdini in a town <laughs> square in the eighteen hundreds. As it, you tell me as a 
10 year old Aaron Weber in your living room, you go, Oh, <laughs> did you just, he scrolled on the screen <laughs> and then, and your family came running. If in. you watch the, the, you can watch the video of that. The crowd gasps as, as it happens. I mean, maybe in the room and like, I get, but you're saying in the living, in your living room uh, on your television. How old were you? When did this happen? 2007. 2007. 16. So yeah. 15, when they, un- 15, 16. Yeah. Probably, yeah. What's the matter? Have you had a, what's the matter? Are you gasping? <laughs> Another grown man on TV scrolling. I'm not saying I'm not wild by things. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm gasping. I don't know if I've gasped at anything. You never gasped? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it I wasn't mean, like, I wasn't, in, oh, it wasn't God. embarrassing. It was what just like, was that? I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> You said they you said they ain't gonna do it, but they did it, mama. He's swapping on his Did you start swapping on your TV and just go, is it gonna move? That's how you change the channel on your TV. You just started like rubbing on the screen. The first <laughs> reported case, though, this guy in Brazil, he's a farmer. He said that they came down and he tried to run on his tractor, but they stopped it. They were wearing gray coveralls and a helmet. They didn't speak. They made noises like barks or yelps. And then when he put him on the spaceship, he was stripped of his clothes. And then a very beautiful humanoid came into the room. She was very attractive. And uh, she had small pointed chin and large blue cat-like eyes. Hair on her head was long and white, although her underarm hair was red. And uh, they were forced to have sex together. (laughs) And then she rubbed her belly. She didn't kiss him. She nipped his chin. Then uh, she rubbed her belly and pointed up, which he says means she was going to raise their child in space. (laughs) His his wife claims to not have seen anything weird that night. What? (laughs) (laughs) I mean. So she she, she pointed it up and he goes, oh, you're going to raise our kid in (laughs) space? Is that what uh, that means? (laughs) He goes, that makes sense. I mean, you're the mother and... uh, you know, I mean, that same lulls down here, you know what I mean? Like, just straight up, he's just level-headed. I hope he's a level-headed guy. And he goes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I get it. Wouldn't even, I'd love, I mean, do you think I'd ever get a, you know, and he just points down? Yeah. Do you think I'll ever, and she goes, I don't know, maybe in the, you know, middle we can meet. But uh, he goes, but I just, he goes, it's just going to be so hard to just be, you know. It's just I don't know. It's like it's not gonna be like your normal weekend every other weekend, right? <laughs> and he's like, she's like, I, we don't even have weekends, yeah. You know, yes. and he's like, yeah, I get it. How long is that kid gonna live? She's like, thousands of years, you know. I mean, and then he's like, well, why can't I keep him for my, you know, hundred? That's I'm about eighty years, yeah. fifty years left. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I can't see him, see my boy. They're having this whole combo just by this pointing. Point, yeah. <laughs> just... I can't. I can't see my I can't see my boy. Yeah. <laughs> They're yelping at each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts. <laughs> oh, man. You already know. I mean, you already know. She's like, all of it was just you know. Immediately afterwards, he, he she's just like. I'm late. I'm raising the kid up there. This is all in one second. Like usually, it's like months after, and she's like, "They get done. I'm like raising him upstairs. Don't tell my father." And you're like, "What? Why can we do it down here? It just, it just happened." And you already know he just died. He's dead. I love you know all these movies. They have some super smart scientist that has to figure out a way to communicate with the aliens because yeah. no one knows their language. This one's just yelping and it's making just sound. Yeah. Just we, like they call him the Bargatze family. Yeah. We can't figure out. Yeah, and y'all just crack we it. Just get it. Uh, start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, nah, I'm not gonna say what he's saying. But he's there. That's funny to be like that guy just cheated on his wife. <laughs> right. But it's pretty good coverage right there to go. Just make something up like that. Yeah. If you can believe, like, if he believes it that much, she just pointed up. Like, what she looked like? She had white hair. Yeah. Well, I found a red hair on your shirt. Oh, she had red. Her know, armpit know. hair was yeah. red. They don't shave like you loser women down here do. 
<laughs> hair doesn't matter to us. He started saying us. Hair doesn't matter to us. <laughs> In in other places, she's like us, yeah. us now. Yeah, yeah. You're one of them yeah. now. I am one of them. My blood is in their blood. Yeah, my boy is gonna my be boy is up there. My boy's up there. Yeah, look at these dumb idiots down here. He's pointing at his own children. Look at these idiots have been raised out here. These kids are dead. These kids are down here. My kids. My kids. He, talk, he talks to her only. Not even his wife. He you starts, don't talk about my boy. Yeah. He goes, it's my heart. My heart is my boy up there. And I'm going to go see him every... That's how the touchdown celebration starts. Right, he goes, my boy. And he goes, oh, is that God? You're like, no, I have, my son lives with an alien. His alien mom went up there and he didn't he have to break it down. Just regular. Oh, you're talking about praying to God or something? He goes, nah, my my baby mom is an alien and she she he lives up, he lives up in there, wherever that is. Wherever up is. But, like the clouds, a little bit farther than the clouds. Don't be ridiculous. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. I see him on the clouds on the weekends. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wonder if they make as much though as a professor for that one class. Yeah, but you get paid class by class if you really. Break or though, like down. a celebrity, they might get paid more, right? Yeah. Who are you, you talking know? to? No, he was nodding. Oh. No, answer our question. <laughs> I mean, Aaron's Aaron started his own looking. podcast within the podcast. He's. I mean, my, he's over here. What is going on? I look at three feet He's to just the left. my goodness. Everybody, please welcome to listen to Aaron Land. When is it air? Aaron's airs during Nate Land. Sorry. I didn't know you guys were gonna do something together. Just give me he a heads answered, up. He was answering the question. I'm sorry about that, man. I just don't trust a lot. I'm I'm a very and I, I have started becoming I just don't trust. I don't know. I get nervous. I don't trust stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know where stuff's coming from. Bigfoot uh, shows you trust. I trusted that guy. Yeah. Yeah. I believe a lot of stuff. Yeah. I believe it. You know, I think it's fun when it's not. Yeah. Those are our peers. Yeah. Those kind of guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know everybody's like, yeah, I do about show about Bigfoot. It's not harming anybody. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'm talking about it gets into like serious stuff. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Well, Aristotle, nonsense. Aristotle said the mark of an educated person is being able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. that's a big comic trick. Oh boy. It's like, yeah. let's go down this rabbit hole. I'm not going to fully commit to this, but yeah. let's have fun exploring it. You know? Ted Lasso, which I finished last <laughs> night. Ted Lasso. <laughs> he quotes Aristotle. You got him a Ted Lasso. <laughs> Ted Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> point <laughs> counterpoint. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he said, uh, well, I don't even remember what he said now. Something about being curious. He said, You never be, something that you always be curious. <laughs> he said, Just do it. The great, uh, the great minds. Yeah. <laughs> Two great philosophers. <laughs> so, you, um, T Pain, Chris Brown, do you think that's a different vibe on the tour bus than the three of us? You think a little bit I different? I think it's very similar. Yeah. Um, you know, who similar do you think interests. Because yeah. <laughs> I'd go to bed. I'd at love eight, to play this game. Eight, eight, yeah. I would who's say, Chris, said, who's Chris Brown? Who's Chris Brown? Who's yeah. T Pain? Who's Shay Mooney? Who's, who's me? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say Brian, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you'd have to be me, I'd say. You know, because yeah, you know. I was probably Chris Brown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you think. Does Chris, does Chris Brown have a CPAP? Be funny, I don't know how, who yeah, would be funnier yeah, yeah. as Chris Brown. I don't know if you'd be funnier CPAP, as T Pain. Uh, CPAP Chris opens Brown. opens up for Chris Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's my rap name. Yeah, it's his rap name. CPAP. C hyphen Pap, dude. Yeah. 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 First line. Can I get a plug? Can I get a plug? Does anybody have an outlet? <laughs> CPAP. <laughs> CPAP, low yeah. battery, low battery. C-PAP. Get the flow going. Yeah, yeah. turn my airflow up turn real my quick. Up real fast. Get the humidity down a little bit. <laughs> a little You're bit. right. Here we yeah. go. He goes. So you know the CPAP? Yeah, I know yeah. all the terms. Yeah. CPAP one, you yeah. got one. Does the air conditioning yeah. on too low? <laughs> Who's throat titchy? Everybody. Who's throat titchy? Yeah. So there's a lot of crazy theme parks that you know. There's a lot of Bible based. I'm not saying that's crazy, but uh, just unique, different yeah, sure. theme parks. Dollywood obviously has one. If there was a Nate Land, oh Nate Land theme, theme park. park, 
I think you'd go to McDonald's and your burgers already got a bite out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That would be, yeah, that'd be good. Iced coffee with milk. Iced coffee with milk. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, the wheeze and the worried. The wheeze oh, and the worried. Yeah, could be a ride. Uh, you would, the clocks would be uh, 10 minutes fast. So you're always worried that you're late. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> is that something you do? No, you're worried. I'm saying. Oh, that's so, the like, worried ride. It, it brings not the I worried see. ride. Like it's just in oh, general, the whole the whole podcast is just you're you're kind of like, oh my god, we're gonna miss a reservation. <laughs> Everything just makes you. You're just kind of worried the whole day. Oh, I see. Yeah, because you always kind of forget about it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Else? It's pretty good. Yeah, it could be a Nate Land. It could be a Nate Land. Yeah, that'd uh, be good. Yeah, I mean a, a gout foot. <laughs> we just check people out for their gout. It's not even a ride. It's, it's just, just a medical stand. It's, just, it's, a, it's it's like how they do vaccines at a drive thru. Like we're gonna just the gout tent, and you're like, oh, is this like a fun ride? You go, no, literally, we're we think gout's a bigger problem than people realize, and we're just we just gotta you guys stick your you just pull up and your foot's just out the out the window, and a guy just starts poking it with a pin, and he's like, I think you're good. <laughs> a little hangnail there, but besides that, I'd get on. And you go, thank you. We you, check uh, you for gout before you come in. That's yeah, your ticket. That's your ticket. <laughs> if you, you get twenty, if you got gout and can prove it, twenty oh, yeah. percent off. You get that negative gout test. To you get, get a negative yeah. gout test to get in. But anyway, we said let's go when we announced because the, the social media when they posted my special date, they put let's go. Yeah, and I was like, I was so mad, <laughs> and it was on my thing. Uh huh. But they, someone else posted it, and I was like, "Don't, I can't stand it." I don't know. Everybody says it. I just don't like when everybody. It's like I. It's not like I don't like the saying. I like the saying. It's now everybody is saying it. They're at their grocery store, just going, "Let's go, save twenty dollars <laughs> today." Like it's like, all right, dude. Tom Brady says it, but you don't. When mind he wins it, a Super Bowl, yeah, like a NBA player dunk, like. It's like a guttural, let's go. That's what it's built for. It's right. not built for regular people <laughs> just doing nothing, you know, just going, got enough gas to get to the gas station. Let's go. <laughs> you know, like that's not what it's for. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, oh. So yeah, we have so well, many squirrels. That, that thing's that not, not really working. working. Yeah. yeah, it is not. Well, that's in the back, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why would you not put it in the front where the main problem is? Well, they were getting on our roof. <laughs> it's a major problem. <laughs> Y'all I mean, the dude, tech, dude. golly, this is like the bird movie by <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock with squirrels, <laughs> where they don't like attack you. They're just like you know, and you can't just, kill them. Wow. It's a, it's wow. A, well, it's in it's against the law to purposely in city limits to kill them. You can throw them from a airplane but they'll still yeah. live yeah they're gonna land that yeah no problem you can kill a squirrel right if it's yeah if it's destroying your property how would i kill it you set up a trap or shoot something it, shoot it i don't think you can just be shooting in like bb guns people you know something like that <laughs> yeah i mean by the time you're i think by the time your brain would tell you to pull that trigger that squirrel's <laughs> gonna be fine yeah i don't think you're gonna hit it <laughs> You don't think I could be Fry it out there the BB gun, yeah. the Air Force hat, shooting, yeah. shooting squirrels. Oh, from and the that porch. Honestly, it just looks like something's wrong with him, you know? Like the neighbors are like, they think they, they see our, our parents come out and then they just think, like, oh, he still lives with his parents. Like they don't know that. <laughs> he's got that hat on that camouflage hat with a BB gun. And he's just out there looking at all these squirrels. And her parents come out, did you get him? And, he's, and they're like, oh, I guess he still lives with his they parents. They think that I think they can't see me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sniper. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, there's, I mean, they would lay his back, wet backpack on, it's dripping water, and they just, people just coming up and asking if he's okay. He goes, yeah, I'm doing real good. You know, I live on my own now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the tops. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the top. Thank you. This podcast is like an answer to a question that's never been asked. <laughs> I mean, we might put that in the bio. I was gonna say, <laughs> I mean, that's that's that, a terrific summary. I mean, wow. that is our mission statement. Right. Yeah, that's what's great is you know because some they always ask uh, people. The, someone's like, "What's your pod?" I'll do all these interviews promoting <laughs> this podcast. And they're like, so what's your podcast? I'm like, I don't know. It's like 
it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Hmm. It's, you know, and I might say that it's like an answer to a question that's never been asked. <laughs> <laughs>